So hey guys, this is Jewel. I am on the website of gracechurch.org. That's John MacArthur's church. The about section and the doctrinal statement section. Um, I've scrolled down to the very end. And I want to read the part that says the character of saving faith. I'm just going to read what it says here. True faith hmm, is always, really always, accompanied by repentance from sin. Hmm. How can you repent from sin if you're not yet regenerated? You can't. You can repent, change your mind from trusting in your own works to trusting in Jesus and in his finished redemptive work on the cross. You can do that to believe the gospel, but you can't repent from sin until you are regenerated. So that part's wrong. Um, repentance is agreeing with God that you are sinful, confessing your sins to him, and get this, making a conscious choice to turn from sin and pursue Christ. Well, again, you can't turn from sin if you are not regenerated yet. You can't. You don't have the Holy Spirit in you yet. Okay. Uh, so, again, he is saying that repentance is agreeing with God that you are sinful, confessing your sins to him, and making a conscious choice to turn from sin and pursue Christ and obedience to him. Well, what is the obedience that's talked about in the New Testament? To believe, right? I've done several videos on this. You can look. Um, there's so many scripture verses that says, what is the will of him? But to believe on him who he hath sent, meaning Jesus. Now listen to this, guys. It isn't enough to believe certain facts about Christ. Even Satan and his demons believe in the true God, but they don't love and obey him. True Saving faith, there's that, you know, that head knowledge versus heart knowledge crap. True saving faith, supposedly, always responds in obedience. So, what, what James 2.19 is talking about is that Satan and his, um, his fellow fallen angels, okay, that... That they believe that they believe that Jesus is God, okay, but they cannot believe that he died for them. They cannot because Jesus didn't die for them, he died for humanity. So he's got this completely wrong. Um, so everything he might have said about grace, through faith, it even says here, John MacArthur, that um that the church is separate from Israel. He even talks about, uh, you know, the fact that the rapture will happen before the seven-year tribulation period. But if you could have everything about the end times correct, but if you've got the gospel wrong, then I don't trust anything else you say. Does that make sense? I can't, you might be right on some other things, but if you've got the gospel wrong, I'm sorry, I, I don't, I'm not going to listen to you. You know, how can I trust that anything else you say is correct if you got the gospel wrong? I can't. So, um, anyway, I just thought I would just read that to remind you guys that you knowing certain facts about Jesus, but if you don't believe them for yourself, then you're not saved. So, those people that know certain facts but don't believe it for themselves. It's not that they are believing in vain. They just didn't believe and they just don't believe, period. They just don't believe it. Okay? They don't believe it for themselves. Um, so anyway, you you can know what, okay, well, this is, I know that this is what Christians say what the gospel is, but if you but if you don't believe it for yourself. Okay, but what are we to go by? What we are to go by is your profession of faith. That is what we are to go by. Okay, so if somebody does say 
Hey, I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins and that he was buried and that he rose again for my justification. If, if you say that, then I treat you as, and I, I consider you as a brother or sister in Christ. If you believe that, you profess that, then you are my brother or sister. So in Acts chapter 8, starting with verse 35, this is when Philip uh, talks to the Ethiopian eunuch. Um, then Philip opened, opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered, the eunuch answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. Philip did, and they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he, Philip, baptized him. So this eunuch's profession right here when he said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that eunuch's profession was good enough for Philip to consider him a believer and then to follow with baptizing him. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about those things today. Y'all be blessed.